Hello, my name is Christo Tudorov and today I'm going to present you my research on limited query black box adversarial attacks in the real world, which is conducted under the supervision of Christian Kukiev. The term adversarial attacks was first introduced in 2014. The main idea is that a given input image that is correctly classified by a deep neural network can be modified so as to be misclassified by the same network. As you can see in the figure, an image of a military airplane is modified by adding specially selected noise to it and then classified as a hot dog. Unfortunately, the perturbations applied are usually imperceptible to the human eye. Those attacks can be applied in a wide variety of settings. For example, it has been demonstrated that by using a specially crafted pair of glasses, one can fool a facial recognition system. Also, by placing a small sticker on a stop sign, the semantic segmentation system of a self-driving car may recognize it as a speed limit. Uh, all modern architectures of deep neural networks are susceptible to these kinds of attacks, which is a major security concern. Luckily, some methods of defense have been proposed. The ones that are not easily circumvented are based on an approach called adversarial training. The main idea behind it is that a given model can be trained on adversarial examples instead of using regular data with the objective of not misclassifying them. Because of that, the research on adversarial attacks is vital due to the fact that the stronger they are, the stronger the defenses also are. The question we want to answer with our research is whether we can synthesize physical adversarial examples, again black box model, using only a very limited number of queries. There are two main problems, the first one being the big number of queries required to synthesize such adversarial examples, which cost money due to the fact that black box models usually give very little information. And in the real world, there are quite a lot of additional factors, such as noise, light change, rotation, etc., which may change the adversarial examples when we put them into the physical world. In order to tackle that problem, first of all, we analyze the different properties of the models. We find that standard models are more susceptible to changes in the foreground rather than to changes in the background, which is quite intuitive, but what is rather interesting is that robust models are even more sensitive. Therefore, we propose a novel attack method we call foreground attack that makes perturbations only in the area of the foreground. Our attack is quite successful, despite the fact that it makes such a small number of perturbations, and it simplifies the process of training models to be robust against physical attacks, because via our attack, one can synthesize and direct the 2D digital adversarial examples, which is essentially a photo of the 3D object, via which the model is trained. Furthermore, we propose a method we call selective transfer attack, which relies on the fact that adversarial examples can transfer amongst many different models. Our intuition is that if an adversarial example can form many models that are similar to our target model, it may also fool it. We develop an automatic selection procedure which selects the surrogate models based on the similarities between their predictions and the prediction of the target model. We also propose a version of the state-of-the-art black box attack algorithm called Simba, which uses great information from surrogate models. It removes the stochastic perturbation element and makes more sensib sensible changes to the image. Our method is a lot more effective than the original one. The same applies when we compare our selective transfer attack to other transfer attacks. Lastly, in order to deal with the unexpected transformations that may happen in the real world, we develop a transformation framework featuring four different kinds of transformation, and we synthesize our adversarial examples with the additional of objective of being robust to those transformations. In this way, we reenact the possible transformations that may happen in the real world completely digitally. That's it. If you have any questions, you can reach me out on my email. Thank you for your attention.